Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello, I'm glad you're here. Today's video is going to be full of so much cleaning motivation and tackling our to-do list. So I hope you leave this video feeling motivated and ready to get things done. I'm also going to be sharing a grocery haul, some cooking, two crock pot meals, my meal plan for the week, an amazing, amazing meal planning app that is game-changing when it comes to organizing your recipes and I'm also super excited because I'm going to be sharing some new Christmas decorations as I gear up to decorate my house for Christmas and I'm also going to be giving away a hundred dollars in PayPal cash so you can be sure to stick around until the end of this video and enter that giveaway even if you try you wouldn't So you guys can see my long list of things I want to accomplish and I do plan on doing this in two days um, but the plan was to clean up the master bedroom first. I wanted to deep clean the bedroom you know kind of clean things up, wipe down the baseboards, dust the ceiling, um, clean the windows and the blinds and vacuum and the bed and all of that. So um, I was going to do all of that before I went in to organize my master bathroom. This video is packed with so much. It's not just cleaning, you know, like I said, crock pot recipes, meal planning, family time, Christmas decorations. So I hope you guys like this video a little bit of everything. But I made the bed and then I was going to get some laundry started just because I like to get the laundry started right away because then I feel like my day starts out on the right foot if I get a load of laundry started and then I was gonna start finishing up the rest of the master bedroom and then the bathroom. Mm. Also, don't forget, I'm going to be giving away $100 in PayPal cash, so you can use it to spend on yourself, treat yourself, maybe um, you can use it for someone special for the holidays, but I just want to be able to give back to you, um, but all of those details will be at the end of the video, and something else that can help you out during this busy holiday season is a free turkey and i want to thank butcher box for partnering with me on this video i will be talking more about them and how they have helped make things a lot easier for our family when it comes to meal time but thanks to butcher box if you click my link below in the description and sign up you will get a free turkey with your first order i will have all of that information here in a little bit so a lot of good stuff coming your way on this video I'm also going to be answering one of your most asked questions. I asked you guys over on Instagram for your questions and by far the biggest question was, do I still work outside of the home? Do I still work in PR? So I answer all of that later on in this video. Your shoulders. 
So when I was done with the master bedroom, I hopped into the master bathroom and I was just planning on picking things up, putting things away on the countertops. I wanted to wipe things down and I had just grabbed my Mrs. Meyers lavender multi-surface spray just because I had it right there. So I just grabbed it to wipe things down and then I was going to pull out the like my makeup containers and all of my you know dry shampoo and sprays. I wanted to wipe out the containers and vacuum out the drawers. I'm sure a lot of you guys totally understand how this goes. I get makeup in the containers. My hair tends to find its way. My shedding hair tends to find its way into these drawers. And I just like to go in here and kind of clean things up from time to time. Nothing could stop us, sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong, it was way more than a dream. We climb up, get over the hillside, so right, we stood there all wide eyed, you and I, floating on air in my mind. Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life. Don't forget to come over and find me on Instagram. I'll have it linked below, um, but I definitely share more of my life over there. Um, and I like connecting with you guys. You guys have been messaging me saying hi. So that's always nice. But if you guys have an Instagram and you want to come over and say hi, come do it. Okay, we just got back from picking up the groceries and I will show you the grocery haul. I'm also gonna show you our meal plan for the week and then an amazing, amazing app that helps me organize all of the recipes that we okay, have. I'll start over here. We have some Diet Coke and some Sprite. Um, we've been making a lot of spaghetti and big ziti for the girls and they like one of these garlic breadsticks with them. They're mini garlic breadsticks, so they're perfect. All of the girls have been loving these waffles in the morning. Um, I used to get regular waffles and they just weren't into like the, like the thin crunchy waffles, but these are thick and fluffy and I actually think they're really good too. And the girls love them in the morning as well as their pancakes. They really can't get enough of pancakes and waffles in the morning. I get some peaches that I always keep in the pantry for them if we run low on fruit. And then this is what I use to make my avocado toast. It's basically the knockoff uh, off of Dave's Killer Bread. Um, it's just a little bit cheaper. It's the Select Seed Thin Sliced. Um, I get these, they're like little fruit snacks for babies. Some, I was out of vitamins, some mouthwash. Um, I need these to hang some loofahs in our shower. Um, I've never used this before, but I wanted a new makeup remover before I wash my face at night. But it's a makeup remover melting balm. Yogurt, <laughs> we get th this all of the time for the girls and I also really like it. Tortilla chips, we're having some family come over. Um, so that's why we have some chips and then I got some salsa con queso and then over there i have some monterey jack queso just for little appetizers fruit snacks which avery requested um chocolate chips and oatmeal so avery it's so cute she loves milk just in general white milk she's always been a white milk lover she's not a big fan of chocolate chocolate milk got these they're like the individual chocolate milks and they won't go bad so i figured she can drink these and that way if it takes her a while it's not a waste um avery's really been into cereal in the morning before school so i got this kashi chocolate crunch um, her school requested crackers for snack time, so I got three boxes of cinnamon graham, graham crackers, some vanilla cupcake goldfish. Guys, these are the best. Some milk. We got milk for both girls. Um, we got milk for the twins and for Avery. We were out of these little pods. I usually get these from Costco, but just to hold us over till we can get to Costco, I just pick some up at Walmart. Apples, 
lemons, these soft pretzel little bites. The twins love these. Some French style green beans, which is the twins favorite. Avery prefers frozen green beans, but the twins like the French style. Blackberries, strawberries, and a pepper. Not for a recipe or anything, but just to munch on. Avery really likes green peppers. Taco seasoning just to keep in the pantry and then some min minced garlic. Oh, and I didn't mean to add two boxes of these. I think I saw them and I added them and then I forgot about it and I added them again. Um, but they're just little Paw Patrol chocolate chip muffins. So, so what I just did was I sat down with all of our groceries that we just got and I made a meal plan and I'll share that with you guys because it's always nice to see what other people are eating because it can give you guys ideas. So I'll share that with you in a minute and then again, I'll share that recipe app that I love. I just downloaded it and it just makes meal planning so much easier. So in the Walmart haul, you guys saw all of our groceries. We did have to get any meat because we just got our butcher box in and if you guys aren't familiar with what butcher box is, it's a subscription service where you can get chicken, beef, seafood, pork, all delivered straight to your door. So it makes it so much easier. It's just nice for me personally because it's just like one thing that I can put on autopilot I don't have to think about. The meat is high quality, 100% grass fed, pasture raised beef, free range organic chicken, sugar free, nitrate free bacon, wild caught seafood, and so much more. Especially with the busy holiday season coming up, take one thing off of your plate and just have your meat delivered straight to your door. It will make your life easier. All right, so for this week, we're gonna be eating cheesy chicken and rice. It's a crock pot meal. So I have chicken for that. We're doing crock pot carnitas. So I have a pork loin here that we're gonna use. Tomato, basil, chicken, more chicken for that. I'm gonna be making chili. So we have the ground beef. Um, Fridays, we always do our pizza, pizza night, um, pizza and salad. We're not gonna be home on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we are gonna be making, we're gonna be making steaks. And we have some fillets and some sirloin steaks right here. So I think the reason why I like the idea of butcher box is because we personally go through a lot of meat, specifically chicken and ground beef. And I kind of like being able to forget about it. So it's almost like the main part of our meal. I don't even have to think about it. like this just comes to my doorstep. It's in our freezer. We don't have to think about it. And I can just worry about the sides and the extras. So as long as you have your meat, you can pretty much whip up any meal. So again, with ButcherBox, you're getting free shipping. You're getting high quality meat delivered to your front doorstep and you can be flexible with your box and the delivery frequencies. So you can cancel at any time with no penalty. And don't forget to click the link in my description to get a free turkey. New members will get a free turkey between 10 and 14 pounds when they place their first order and sign up for Butcher Box. That shipping is always free. Um, and then to get ideas, I go to my Paprika app. But this is what the app looks like. It does cost money um, and it was kind of expensive as far as apps go, but I'll have how much it costs right here um, on the screen. But so many people highly recommend it recommended it that I had to get it. So you open it up and I have some recipes already saved in here. So for example, you're gonna see me make this crock pot lemon garlic butter chicken. And so what it does is you can just add it straight from a website, you can add it straight from the browser on your phone. So what this does is it takes a recipe from a blog post or from the internet and it just puts it all into this app. So like here, um, it puts in the ingredients in the ingredients section. So if you're at the store and you're like, oh, I wanna make that hamburger soup, then you just go into ingredients and it's all right there. Um, it has the directions separated. It tells you the prep time, the cook time, the servings, where you originally got it. So you can go to that website if you want to. So I just went into the categories for that specific soup. Um, and it's nice because you can categorize it. So if you're looking for a crock pot meal, you're looking for a soup, a dessert, or you know, Super Bowl party or something like that, you can have it all listed out. I created these um, categories, but you can even put them in multiple categories. So like for me, this soup is a crock pot soup. It uses ground beef and it uses soup. So if we only have ground beef around and I just want to see what recipes you know, ground beef, it puts it in there. Um, so it's just nice because it 
I mean, I still have to add some more recipes, but it has like all of your favorite recipes right here. You try it out, has all the ingredients. So, you know, what I'm gonna start doing is every recipe that we try and we love, I'll just add it to this and it just makes it easier because I can go to this when I need inspiration. I'm gonna make my meal plan. So here's an example of something you're gonna see me make here. Um, you just go to that and then it's right there. So I can hit paprika, downloads it, and it goes straight to the app. And like I said, it inputs all of the information inside of the app. So it put it all in there. And you know, how many times do you come across a recipe on Facebook or Instagram, you know, on the internet, and then you're like, okay, well, how do I take this? And then if you like it, how do you remember it? So this is just one of those ways that you can kind of organize all of it together. So on this first day, I was making a hamburger vegetable soup, and I don't know if it's the colder weather that is here in Ohio now, but I've really been craving soup lately, and I just like a good vegetable soup because I can throw a lot of veggies and get my veggies all in one meal, and I find the kids really like it a little bit better too because it's in a soup form. Well, they don't eat the soup. I'll just put the vegetables, you know, on their tray or their plates and they seem to eat the veggies a little bit better than just plain, but I will have this recipe linked down below. It was honestly really simple and I did make a few alterations to the recipe. I always check out the comments um, on a website and I made a few changes that a lot of people suggested, but it did really, it turned out really, really good. You guys tell me how much you love my crock pot meals or just my meals in general. So I'm going to show you another meal that was between. So the two days that you see me filming, there was a day in between where I made a recipe that we have been loving. We made it a couple of weeks ago and it was just so good. We made it again and I thought I would show you it's a crock pot lemon garlic chicken. So I'm going to show you that here in a minute as well. So it's kind of like a random day, but in this video, I wanted to show you two crock pot recipes because you know I love to cook with my crock pot. Not, not to mention, I wanted to show you guys two recipes where I was using some of the meats that we got from our butcher box. So this one we made a couple weeks ago and it was a hit. I loved it. I personally loved it. Um, it is a slow cooker lemon garlic chicken recipe and we served it with some um, baby red skin potatoes and some green beans and it was so good. Um, I loved it and so did Mike and we both can be a little bit picky. So when we both like a recipe, it's a win. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how we made it and I'm gonna get it going so we can eat it again for tonight. So And don't forget to stay tuned. I promise I will give you all of the details for the giveaway here soon, as well as answering the question about my job status. Hey guys, it is day two. We are eating lunch. Say lunch. The girls are eating some grapes and then we have some mac and cheese and yogurt over here. But I'm excited because when these girlies go down for their nap, I'm gonna go run to Hobby Lobby in Kirkland's and look at some Christmas decorations and I will share with you all of the Christmas decor that I get. I also went to Target a couple days and snagged some dollar spot Christmas stuff. So. I'm gonna share all of that with you as well as some Christmas ideas, like a few of my favorite things that maybe will spark some interest if you guys have someone you're trying to find, you know, the perfect gift from. They're just smaller things, but easy things that someone may love. Can you say hi? Say hello. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Uh, Are you ready for Christmas? Uh, have you been a good girl? Addison, have you been a good girl? Okay. Have you been good? Mm. Have you? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. What about you, Emery? Have you been a good girl? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> the girls are napping. 
I just set out some of my Christmas decorations that I went shopping for. So, oh, and I also went to Target a couple days ago, so I have some stuff from Target. And then when I, after I show you guys the little Christmas decor haul, I'm gonna give you some Christmas ideas, some things that I really enjoy. Okay, so I got this sign from Kirkland's. It was $24.99, but everything was 25% off. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna keep all of this stuff or put all of this stuff. So I might have to pull my Christmas stuff out soon and kind of get an idea of where I want things to go. Um, but have yourself a little a merry little Christmas. I love that saying. And Kirkland's is the place to go for signs. They had so many cute signs there. And then I got this one, Repeat the Sounding Joy. Now, typically I keep my Christmas decorations pretty neutral because if you remember, my kitchen was really dark. Dark floors, dark cabinets. And so I just kept it really like white and grays and um, sparkles and stuff like that. But now that I have a white, brighter kitchen, I wanna bring in some of the more traditional colors of Christmas. So like the pops of green, little pops of red as well. So that's why you see some of these colors. And then let's see. So yeah, I guess this was it from Kirkland's. They had some more things, but I'm probably gonna go back once I take a look at what Christmas stuff I have. I got these from Target. And so they are the Threshold brand. And I just like how they're sparkly. And I'm thinking of maybe putting these on my, as a centerpiece on my kitchen table. And then I got this from Hobby Lobby. I just thought this might be cute to put on the little cake stand I have on my island or maybe with these on the kitchen table. I got these two things from the Target dollar section. So I thought this would be so cute to put the girl's picture from Santa last year and I can display that. But I think this was like, yeah, $3 and super cute. And then this little flock tree was also $3 from the Target dollar spot. This was another Target dollar spot find. So cookies for Santa. So I thought it would kind of match if I add some of these pops of red in the kitchen. And then this was also from the Target dollar sack. Not sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but I have some ideas. And then I got this from Kirkland's. I just thought the script was really cute. It's like a heavy metal sign. Who doesn't love a little gift guide, right? So I thought I'd share with you some of like, super inexpensive just like basic stuff because i always know it's very helpful for me when i see just small things like sometimes i make gift giving very overwhelming for myself and it's like you just need to make it a little bit uh easier on yourself jamie like don't don't overthink it sometimes the smallest gifts can just be the best thing like something that someone didn't even know they needed these blue light reflecting glasses um I've shown these before on my channel. I just had some black ones, but I just got these and I just thought they were fun. I got them off of Amazon and they're just cute. They're fun, a little bit different. And um, I love, they make such a big difference when I'm working at the computer or I've even started wearing them at night when I'm like laying in bed, relaxing, watching TV or playing on my phone. And I noticed that even just playing on my phone at night and wearing these makes a big difference when I actually go to sleep. And I got, um, it's a two pack super inexpensive super super inexpensive but i'll have all of this stuff linked below and i think i did i mention they're from amazon so super easy to get and pretty inexpensive yeti cups now they're dirty so i do apologize for that these are my daily coffee cups i usually use this one or this one obviously this can be used for water or whatever you want to drink um but as a mom, if you're a mom, you know you never get to drink your coffee straight through. Um, and just putting in here keeps my coffee warmer and it's just perfect. So I have this one. I got this one. I got this one last year for Christmas. This one fits in my car in the cup holder. So that's why I wanted to get this one. Um, but I love both of those. And this one doesn't, this one has like a little closer. So the twins have knocked this over and it doesn't spill. This one um, doesn't spill. I mean, it doesn't close but it still is pretty durable. So I am in love with these cups for my coffee. Um, this is actually my husband's, it's called a Brewmate. And so it's basically like a coaster, but he loves IPA beers. And so when he drinks a beer, or you know, even if you are a pop drinker, 
that probably shows where I live in the country. We call it pop. Some of you may call it soda or Coke, um, but we call it pop. So like he drinks Diet Mountain Dew, or if I have a Diet Coke, you can also put it in here. Um, they make ones for like the White Claws, if you drink the seltzers, if you drink wine, they have wine or highball cups. So they have multiple cans like this, but they're like durable and they keep your drinks cold for longer. So he loves that. So if you have a husband or a boyfriend or, you know, a man in your life who likes, you know, a beer or a cold drink, these are great. So brewmate. Okay. This is a little chopper. You guys have seen this probably in this video and you've also seen it on my channel before, but you know, I hate to cook, hate, hate to cook. So I'm always looking for shortcuts hence why I love getting my meat delivered to my doorstep. Um, and then I can even use this to chop my vegetables. So like I can literally put almost a whole onion in this. I usually will just cut the onion in half and then you can just put it in here. It comes with this, set it on here, take that out, or that goes up in here, but um, I'm not gonna take the time to do it right now. But you just put it on there, you put, it, onion in there or whatever you're chopping tomato and then you just do that so it pretty much dices whatever you want to dice and it just is a time saver i hate chopping i hate cooking in general so this is a time saver um, makes my life so much easier and this i've shown these so many times on my channel but i love them they are from target they're from walmart and i actually saw some there's some girls here on youtube that have them and from amazon and i ordered them from amazon and i just didn't love them and so i picked these up from walmart and they were like ten dollars and i've been wearing them every single day i might actually go get another pair they had different colors i think they had a pink pair like a blush pink that i might get but i might just get another pair because i know i'm gonna like wear through these pretty quickly but i love them so comfortable and again walmart i'll have them linked below so hopefully those will give you guys some ideas if there's someone in your life that's really hard to buy for. Again, sometimes it's just as simple as getting someone some, you know, slippers or some blue light reflecting glasses that they didn't even know they needed. So I hope that helps. Okay, so really quickly, I actually hear that the girls are up, so I'm gonna go upstairs and grab them. But before I do that, I asked you guys on Instagram for a question. So in these Slay the Day, Get It All Done videos, I'm gonna start asking like a couple questions, maybe one, like in today, I'm only gonna answer one question because it might be a longer answer. But if they're like quicker answers, then I might do more. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll be asking for questions every time time before I film this just to try to get um, your most asked questions and don't forget to stay tuned because I'm still going to give you all of the details for the hundred dollar PayPal cash giveaway so stay tuned for that that should be here in a few minutes okay number one most asked question is am I still working outside of the home do I still work in PR so you guys are new to my channel um i did work outside of the home up until june of this year so i worked in a, the nonprofit space in public relations that's not what my background is i never got my dream job of becoming a teacher i have an active teaching license i have a bachelor's and master's degree in education um, and I just, it's tough to get a job in Ohio. And, um, so I never got that job, but I was able to find a job working in somewhat the educational space, um, in a nonprofit space. So, uh, that is what I've been doing for the past 10 years. And in June, I decided to step away. A lot of factors led to that. And I, I'll be honest with you. I was a little bit nervous to, um, talk about it. I have talked about it on my channel. I made an announcement right after here on my channel in a video, and I've talked about it on Instagram, but I know you guys don't watch every, every video or see every story. But I was a little bit nervous because a lot of you guys started following me when um, as a working mom and I was afraid that a lot of you guys would look at me differently or you would be upset that I quit my job. Um, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of factors led to the decision. Um, the biggest and the most impactful thing that has happened was um, my husband and his career. So my husband, Mike, works in finance. He's a financial analyst and he got a new job about a year ago that was huge for his career. 
and since then he's just been working his way up the ladder doing amazing and just working and just doing amazing and so that gave me more freedom in my decisions. I do enjoy working, working towards, you know, I mean, I love being a mom, but I love having something of my own. So um, in the past year, I did have more freedom in my decision, but I kept working. And then in March, when the world shut down, I was able to work from home. I was working from home from March until June, and I got a taste of what it was like to be at home. And I loved it. I loved being here with my kids, but I also loved doing something for myself, which was working. Um, but ultimately what I wanted was to be able to get my kids on and off the bus. You know, I wanted to say goodbye, and I wanted to be the first one that they saw when they got off the bus. And I wasn't able to do that with my job. I was working about um, 40 hours plus. So um, when things started to open back up in the summer, my husband and I made the decision that I would step away from that job. Um, and the biggest reasons, you know, was because I had the ability to do that um, because of his career, but also because I have YouTube. So I do contribute to the, the, the family and um, it also gives me something to focus on and pour my, you know, my energy into other than just being a mom. And I know that, you know, like that's important for me to be able to have my own thing, you know, like I have the freedom to say I need to work on this and my husband's great about, you know, he works from home now actually too. So he, um, he typically didn't work from home, but now he is working from home and he's not sure if he'll return back to the actual office. But you know, if I have something to work on for YouTube, he's really great about, you know, hanging with the kids, even if it's during the week and then he works at night. And so I have a space for myself in a way that I can contribute um, other than being a mom, but I also get to spend quality time with my kids and get Avery on the bus and off the bus. So um, that's kind of the, the deal with that. And I hope you guys support that. I hope you guys, you know, will still follow me. Like if you liked following me because I was a working mom. I mean, I still consider myself working because I do have something that I pour a lot of my time and energy into and I hope you support us and all of this. But yeah, that's the answer to that. If you guys have another burning question you want me to answer, make sure you um, watch out for the question and answer on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and I will answer it in the next video. Okay, we're drinking some milk. Say hi. <laughs> I'm gonna give you all of the details for the giveaway. So I am giving away $100 in PayPal cash. So this is open internationally and all you have to do to enter is comment on this video. Well, first of all, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, have the notifications turned on, and then comment down below what's one thing that you want for Christmas this year, just one thing. Um, Hopefully you guys can use this money to buy gifts maybe for yourself treat yourself to something nice or Maybe for a family member and spend a little bit extra money I just want to be able to give back and help you guys out during this time of the year So hundred dollars PayPal cash open internationally just subscribe have the notifications turned on Which is the little bell next to the subscribe button comment one thing that you would love for Christmas this year or the holidays and then in two weeks, which actually when you guys are seeing this, two weeks will be Thanksgiving here in the United States. So maybe I'll announce it the day before Thanksgiving that night. So just short of two weeks, I will um, comment, I'll do a random picker, and then I will comment on the winner's comment in this video. So make sure you come back in two weeks and check this video, check your comment. I will respond back to the winner and then I will pin their comment at the top. So that's how I will announce the winner. Um, and good luck to all of you guys. Thank you, as always, for always supporting my channel and watching my videos. You guys are amazing. I just wanna be able to give back to you guys during the end of the year. So good luck, and I hope you guys buy something great with it. But make sure you go check out Butcher Box. I will have the link in the description you definitely will not be disappointed. And what's better than getting something delivered to your front doorstep, especially in the winter time, right? So go check that out. Again, I'll have it linked down below and we will see you guys next time. Can you guys say bye? Say bye-bye.
Can you say bye bye? <laughs> say bye. Can you say bye?